This is out of the blue, a 1991 cruiser style 40 foot narrowboat. She has a Liverpool hull and she was fitted out by her original owner who is actually a carpentry teacher so the woodwork inside is really rather lovely. She's like a floating cottage, she's really cosy and feels really comfortable and warm. The insurance company required a hull survey which was conducted on the 3rd of March this year in 2017. There were no issues. Very good condition pram hood here. It's a six foot six cruiser stern. All of the deck boards lift up, so whichever part of the engine bay you want to visit, it's very accessible. The gas lockers are here at the back with the fire extinguisher on there. Two 13 kilo bottles. It doesn't look as though it's tall enough, but it actually sinks into the, into the engine bay. So down through a single door into the bedroom at the stern. Some lovely leaded glass cupboards up there. The bed's six foot by four foot. And the floors throughout the boat actually are solid oak. They're really charming. There's good windows in here. Hopper opening. And there's a bookshelf and some shelves at the end of the bed there towards the stern. The storage under the bed, useful storage together with the pump out tank. Down through the corridor on the starboard side and into the bathroom here on the left with the louvered door. There's a traveller dump through loo just on the left as you enter, which is next to the shower cubicle, which is um, curtained and a rather lovely ceramic basin there with a mixer tap. And behind the door here, just next to the basin, is a, a good sized cupboard, shelves at the top and hanging wardrobe space at the bottom. And another oil-fired radiator hiding in there, which comes with the boat as well as the one you can see in the corridor. Down through into the, the galley. It's all here. It's an L-shaped arrangement and there's the instant gas water heater. They're very useful these, you just turn it on and Bob's your uncle. Although these days Bob may be your auntie, but the point is you have instant hot water. No need for, to wait for anything to heat up. Sink under the, under the window there. There's a full burner gas hob, grill and oven. Good cupboard space here under the sink. And there's a Shoreline 12 volt fridge with a freezer box at the top of it, just next to it. A couple of cupboards here with a drawer underneath. And a very good size larder, storage cupboard, call it what you want, in between the galley and the saloon. It's really charming this boat I think. Lots of wood and lovely wood. Here's the, you'll see why they call it a swan hatch. Taking my life in my hands here. It's pine tongue and groove with mahogany trim through this boat on the cabin sides and ceiling. The sofa here is very comfortable and extends to a sofa bed. That's the stereo system. And in the corner is the Valor multi-fuel stove, which is more than adequate to heat a boat of this size. There's no central heating, but that will do the job. The well deck's a good size because the gas lockers are at the back. The full length of the well deck is utilised for storage space and sitting space. And of course the cratch cover does remove. As does the pram hood, I didn't mention that. The pram hood at the back of the boat is very easily collapsible. That's the view from the bow doors. Very good storage space on the on the well deck here. And that's out of the blue.